Hi guys. A progress report on this little hovercraft I'm working on. It's still nowhere near working properly, but we do have a radio control receiver on there. This is a little combined receiver and servo unit. WL Toys V911 I think it is. I'll put a link in the video description. Small LiPo battery and well, I've straightened up those jets on the back so they just point out straight and now we've got two vent holes on the front here to try and counteract the torque spin that we get from the motor so the motor spins around that way which tries to make the hovercraft spin around that way in fact it does it quite successfully but those vents there push air or allow air to shoot out that way which should make it spin the opposite way and I'm trying to control the steering by having a little flap over one of those vent holes now it's not very effective But that's all I'm doing at the moment, just varying the amount of air that's coming out of that hole. Now, I'm not doing enough for it to work very effectively, but it will give you some idea of what I'm trying to achieve. So I'll put it on the floor there. It does tend to drift off and get stuck on the wall, so I'll have to keep pushing it back in place. Sorry about the noise, can't really do much about that. But as you can see, it's not working very well at the moment. Got very little control, probably got more control by varying the power to the engine than I'm getting from varying the space, the air vent size. But I think that's because I need a bigger flap and a bit more movement out of my servo there. At the moment my transmitter is set up for my small delta plane flying wing and I reduced all the throws on that so I'm getting very little movement there and to change it I have to go onto the PC and run the settings program. It's nothing I can actually do on here to change the throws bit of a pain that. Enough excuses, that's as far as I've got today.